Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to play with some resin. I'm going to try and recreate a jewelry pattern, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have here 28 ounces of uh, epoxy, which would be more than enough for what I am trying to do today. Uh, a little bit more than 6 ounces per square foot. I want the epoxy to move and slide and die really nicely. I have several colors here. I have the copper and yellow pearl from Stone Pond Top. I have the, the white from uh, the, the, the Alumalite. And I have some uh, other paste here from uh, Magic Resin. And uh, I'm going to try to do a pattern here that mimics a beautiful fluoride slice that I saw in the picture. That one right here. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's let's see how it goes. Okay, I just finished mixing my my uh, epoxy for five minutes in the bucket. Um, I have a little bit of extra that I'm waiting on the board to do a grease coat with, and then I am going to do streaks with all these beautiful colors. Look at this red; it is unbelievable. It's a really 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 nice shimmer. It. It's it's a paste, but I think it has micas in that paste. And it looks just absolutely gorgeous. that is going to be kind of the main attraction of well, that they all are it's, it's it's like a beautiful little rainbow here so we're gonna mix them all up and start doing the layers it's going to be like a building floor in the sense that it's it's, it's a lot and it's going to go it's going to, to run a little bit but it's not quite the 34 because I'm not going to mix them all in the bucket. Maybe I'm going to go a little bit right at the end just to do some games with some insertions. Man, what I do with this balloon is what it does. Oh man, it's beautiful. What I did with the board is that I sprayed it with black paint, uh, paint primer, and then I did just a little bit of fogging with uh, a little bit of gold, you know, in case, in case you can see down like you see through the stick here. And, uh, you can see through the board it will give it just another layer of interest and in this case because I'm yeah I'm still using the USB it's actually you know, it's cheap and convenient already cut and it's there and it's like seven bucks five bucks eight bucks depending on where you get it from and uh, yeah it's really easy to use and it's really good for sample boards okay I would not recommend it to do an actual counter pop out of it because it's uh, it will absorb the moisture and it's, it's not as good as the MDF, okay? So when you're doing an actual countertop, in that case, use an MDF. Do yourself a favor and do it right the first time. Okay, this is the beautiful yellow pearl that looks like a very, very pale gold. Okay, I just love this yellow pearl here. Used it before on my daughter test and it just comes out from the wings the, 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 the thing is the, the, the shimmer is down the hoop is here. Uh, because I came straight from the truck I did not have the opportunity to get my proper mic so today I'm using the big Sony headset. Let me know how the sound is. This will be my first tour in this new studio. Studio studio this is a, it says it's rose gold, it's a, it's red with gold shimmers in it, it's, it's, it does some really, really interesting things here, and I like it.
beautiful. And we were happy. Just a touch of copper, okay? It's the copper powder from Stoke on Countertop. But like I said, I put just a touch of it because I want it to look brown and murky. But, okay, and yeah, I overdid it. I literally put this much on the stick and it's, look what it does. It, 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 it saturates the resin, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. And I also use some larger flake copper colored uh, uh, glitter. Okay, so you will have the regular copper and then you will have these big chunks of uh, shiny glitter in there. So it's gonna be an interesting combination. So this one, like I said, I overdid it. I did not intend to do it as strong as this. And I just put this much on the stick. So a little goes a really long way. Look at that beautiful thing there. Oh man, I love it. Okay. Now that everything is done, I'm gonna take another stir stick and I'm going to use this residual resin. <laughs> okay, that's still onto the board. And I'm gonna just move it around just enough to make it wet. It serves absolutely no decorative purpose. Like I said, it's just a grease layer. There we go. Everything is nice and white. And we can start a little bit pour and said at the end, I want to mix it all in the bucket and, and, and have it as a dirty pour. Alcohol. 
barely squeezing the trigger and then I randomly drop the alcohol on it. This will, like I said, it, it makes the mica slide go up and down because the, the thickness of the epoxy that they are in changes and creates like waves. Yep. That's it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to the uh, to the piece. I'm gonna leave it as is. So the, the, the red is, stays a little bit too defined for my liking. I'm going to take the stick from the red. No, not the stick. Let's use the technique. Now I'm going to take the hair dryer. I to move a little bit more in the red because I don't really like it the way it is. That's what was bugging me, that, that the red was way too hard. Now with the with the airflow we softened it up and everything melded together. Well, it no longer looks exactly like that fluoride because I softened it a little, maybe a little too much. But uh, yeah, let's take the, the, the tape off. And let's see if we can do a few more. Uh, a few more veins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Squirrely. Mandela. Yeah. And because it's already set it up, because it's firing off, it will uh, it, it will not sink that much. Even if it sinks, it's okay because this is the other way around. It's going to sink towards the face of my uh, of my face. out of these guys I wish you could see this on camera this, this red is absolutely amazing I didn't want to try and do a piece just with this red because it's fabulous my mistake with the, with the piece that I did is that the, I, I wanted way more of that purple and I mix the colors more or less in the same ratio I, I should have mixed way less copper way less white way less red all these colors or that are left over could have been the purple that I wanted but instead I'm making coasters out of it Take this and I'm just going to go swirl it in there. Like this. It's like that, and that's the way it feels. Yeah, like that, and that's the way you feel. Oh. Okay, so we're going to let all of this set up, do it stay. And next time I'm coming back, I'm gonna do something different. I don't know what. I was thinking I'm gonna do more than two pieces today, but I really have no idea what I'm gonna make. And I need to leave this uh, to set up. So, because I'm a little bit tight with my time and schedule, because I literally just came back from the truck, and after tomorrow at 4 a.m., I'm gonna be in the truck again. So do me a favor, subscribe, and even if you don't watch it, just leave it going in the background when you're not watching on YouTube. Let my videos catch some hours. I got 2,000 hours and I have to go up to like 4,000. And I'm at 918 and I need to go up to 1,000 viewers so I can start monetizing. Once I start monetizing, I can start reinvesting into this thing and do more okay so let me know if you if you like this where would you put it would you put it in a powder room would you put it in the kitchen would you put it in a yeah, kitchen yeah it's very intense it has a lot of things going on a lot of colors it's very bright it's uh, shiny it's yeah i think the kids would like this even though we have all these red patterns here yeah you know what that's how i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call this dexter fluoride yeah that's the name guys this is gonna be dexter fluoride let me know in the comments below if you know why it's dexter fluoride <laughs> No, I like it even more, okay? I, I, I was missing the, the gold, like I said, and I managed to put these three, one, two, and three veins of gold, and now I like it even more. <laughs> now it's way better, and I'm much more happy with the result. And I'm gonna try and do something with this. Not 
be quite a chunky. Yeah, I think it's I think it's time to stop, right guys? I think it's time to stop before we mess it up even more. So that's it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to keep the internet alive and come see me on the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.